Hey everybody, Mr. Stewart here, and I want to share with you this short screencast on something I think will help to improve uh, your ability to work with OneNote, okay, be it OneNote Online or OneNote as the desktop version, um, either here at school or at home. So one thing I've been thinking about is the following, okay, so let's say that you happen to have the need to create, say, a graph, okay, much like here where you're supposed to build a histogram, okay, or you need to create a table or something of that nature which isn't so easy without the use of some tech or either creating it by hand, okay? So here's a suggestion. What you can do is if you go into open in OneNote, okay, what that's going to do is it will then take this particular And it is going to open it up into um, the desktop version of OneNote. Okay, so right now you can see that I am within someone's particular folder here. And what we can do is then go into, let's say, this space here. Okay, and I can now insert, okay, um, items or I can draw. So if I want to draw in something here, I can either use the pen tools, okay, or I can use the shape tools. So if I'm going to use a shape tool to create my histogram, okay, uh, I'm just going to select that. What I can do is I can then draw, say, a particular rectangle, give it a certain width, and I can move it around, resize it, etc. Okay, so that could be a bin or an interval. Across the bottom, of course, we can either type in the scale. So just across the bottom, okay, if I need to, start at zero, I'm underlining on, so I'll take that off, and uh, go across here, and so on and so forth, right? Okay, so whatever this marking happens to be, three, four, five, etc., whatever it is that your bin width happens to be for the question you're working on, okay? Not necessarily for this assignment, but it could be for something else. So that's a quick tip on how you can create a histogram uh, using the tools for the drawing tools in OneNote.